Hi, my name is Muhammad Ali. Everyone calls me Mo. I'm a principal solutions architect at DocuSign. Um, I live in Australia and I, I help a lot of our customers in this region um, across Asia Pacific with their you know, agreements, platforms and digital transformations. A little bit about myself, um, I'm a dad and with that comes a dad joke. Just to kick it off today, um, I'll just read it out to you, I've got it in front of me here. Um, just seen a burglar kicking his own door in and I asked, what are you doing? He said, working from home. <laughs> I know, I know I'm laughing at my own joke, but it was so horrible. It just made me laugh and I thought I'd share that with you. Anyway, what are we here to talk about today? Today, we're here to talk about um, document generation in eSignature. I'm actually super excited about this functionality um, because now we can do it directly in our eSignature platform, DocGen. Um, what does that do? it elevates the whole experience, especially for your customers, your signers. It elevates that whole experience because now you're generating a professional looking agreement directly within eSignature. You're not using multiple tools or, you know, generating it somewhere and putting in eSignature and sending it out. It all happens seamlessly. Um, and you can easily create those templates using our document, DocuSign template assistant in Word. And I'll show you a demo of that. Um, you can include business rules, conditional logic, um, so you can show and hide certain clauses according to, you know, the data that's been input. Could be a certain state means you show a certain clause. Um, I'll, I'll show you all of that as well. So essentially, there's no more misalignment of formatting or mismatched fonts within your agreement. Um, two main benefits, and there's plenty more, but the two main benefits that I know you will see straight away. You're going to save time as the person sending out and managing those templates. You'll save a lot of time in, in your sending workflows because now you're generating the customized agreements directly in a signature, as well as the ability to do bulk generation. So bulk generation and sending by uploading a CSV with the data that you want to merge and having it being sent out to 100 people, a couple of hundred people. Imagine a travel policy update. Um, you know, HR offer letter, which I'll show you today, uh, or it could be to your franchisees or, or you know, um, lessors, for instance, or lessees, for, for instance. So um, all, all these different scenarios, if you're a real estate agent, um, if you're in construction, if you're in HR, many different examples where a bulk generation really, really makes sense. In addition to that, what this will do is this will simplify deployment. What I mean by that is, is it's going to reduce the number of templates that you have. Today, if you have, you know, an offer letter with four different templates, according to the, the state and, and the type of clauses that you need in there, that'll all get reduced down to one template. And that's just one example. There could be many different variations of the, the type of role they have, the type of remuneration, and, and a whole host of other um, examples there. And that's just one use case. So imagine all the other ones and how much more efficient this whole process can be. What I'd like to do is jump into the demonstration, uh, but essentially this is, is what, we're, what we're going to, how to build that template. Great. This is an example of where we could start off at. Think about it as, as, a, as a Word document for an offer letter. Now the example that we'll run through is how do I make this into a, a document generation template? And then how do I send it using DocuSign by creating a template. And then finally, how do I do that in bulk? So it could be, you know, we're, we're hiring en masse. Um, it could be 10 people or 20 people that we're, we're sending this offer letter to. Now imagine that this scenario for, you know, an annual uh, pay rise review or uh, remuneration packages. So, you know, the, that, that whole bulk generation really, really makes sense there as well. But in this example, we're going to use the template assistant, which is right here. Um, as an add-in inside Word. We're all familiar with how Word works, so we simply follow through with this scenario. Are you going to use this in eSignature? Yes, we are. Click Next. Um, add fields to get started. So, number one, the candidate. Let's add a field for the candidate. 
um, and we'll say the Kerry candidate as the, um, the, the sample data. When I click plus, you'll see that it's replaced Kerry candidate with that, that merge field there. Now I can go through and do this with all of these different um, examples here. So I'll do one more, um, job title, for instance. And we can add that in and replace that. So I've done two examples there. You can obviously do that for the start day, the, the amount and so forth. One last example that I'll show you quickly is a conditional clause. So we can see here that this, res this is a clause around California residents. So what I'll do is I'll add one more field for the candidate state. And we'll say, the let's say it's, it's a California state. Now instead of just inserting that in, I'm going to apply some logic to it. So by doing that, I've got the candidate state here. And if it matches CA, then I want to show that folder, that, that um, clause there essentially. And that's pretty much it. I can click next preview, and it will instantly give me a preview of how this document would look like. So I can see that I've inserted that value and I've got that set up there. Um, let's do that again. We'll change the value, click next and preview. And we can see here that this clause has now been removed. So that's just an easy way to validate that what I'm creating is actually working. So from here, I'll show you one that I've completed earlier, as you do in, in cooking shows. Um, the candidate, the start date, the hiring manager, it's all been done and all, of, all the, you know, the fields have been added into here as well. So what we'll do is now we'll upload this document directly into um, our DocuSign account. And so what we need to do here is simply upload this document um, by choosing um, by choosing templates. I've done one here earlier, but what we'll do is I'll show you how to create a new one. So create template, upload, and we'll add that one that we created earlier there. So this one here. The great thing is DocuSign will automatically know that this is a document generation document. It, it recognizes that the formatting of the curly brackets, and you'll see that document generation come up there. Now, from here, I simply need to add in candidate in my data as my template, um, and then click Next. And now we can go through um, sign here, you know, candidate and so forth. So. Um, now I can add uh, anchor text or auto place text um, and so forth as I go through this. But that's really what I'm doing. So I'll do that for one of them just to show you how that works. I've left that, that hidden text in, in gray, uh, that sign here, auto place text, but normally you'd put that in white and make it hidden, and then that's where DocuSign will know where to place that signature tag. This is one that I created earlier, very, very similar, maybe some, some slight additions to it. So what I'll do is I'll just use this one here, and I'll show you how we can actually use it, is it will ask me to send this off. So I can then uh, specify the candidate's name, an email address, click next, and here is where it asks me to pre-fill the data. So I'll do this now quickly. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, send. And there we have it. Simply sign a professional looking document, apply my signature, and I'm done. Now, for the icing on the cake, what I will show you is the bulk send. Let's take that same example. We'll say use template. 
that HR offer letter document generation. But this time we're going to import a bulk list. So we can do that here by clicking import. You can download the CSV and then use that as a template and then fill in your bulk list. So I'll show you what this looks like. I've got three candidates, emails, first names, their roles, everything that's going to be merged in there. The state, so you'll notice that, you know, some are different states, so that will have different clauses as well. And this is all done automatically for me. And there we have it, three rows, finish import. And we can send that out. It's the same thing, except this time text in curly brackets will be replaced with data provided in the CSV at the time of send. So you're not manually completing that data anymore in those text fields like I showed you last time. We simply click send and all the data in the CSV will auto populate each of those merge fields and it will create three separate envelopes that have been merged and ready to be executed. So we can see that here. One, two, three. Perfect. Thank you. That was super exciting. I hope you found that interesting and exciting as well. All right. Till next time. Take care. Bye-bye.